social costs, and benefits of transportation. The improvement of a region's economic position by virtue of improved transportation does not come without costs. Building vast transportation systems requires enormous resources of energy, material, and land. In major cities, transportation can consume as much as half of all the land area. An aerial view of any major metropolis will reveal vast acreage used for railroad terminals, airports, parking lots, and freeways. Transportation has other negative effects as well. Travel is not without danger. Every mode of transportation brings to mind some major disaster be it the sinking of the Titanic, the explosion of the Zeppelin Hindenburg, the infrequent but dramatic passenger air crash, and highway accidents that each year claim about 40,000 lives in the United States. In addition, Transportation can create noise, spoil the natural beauty of an area, change the environment, pollute air and water, and consume energy resources. Society has indicated a willingness to accept some risk and changes to the natural environment in order to gain the advantages that result from constructing new transportation systems. Society also values many social benefits brought about by good transportation, providing medical and other services to rural areas and enabling people to socialize, who live some distance apart are just a few examples of the benefits that transportation provides. A major task for the modern transportation engineer is to balance society's need for fast and efficient transportation with the costs involved. Thus, the most efficient and cost-effective system is created, while assuring that the environment is not compromised or destroyed. In carrying out this task, the transportation engineer must work closely with the public and elected officials and needs to be aware of modern engineering practices to ensure that the highest quality transportation systems are built consistent with available funds and accepted social policy.